Hi there, welcome to TCM, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. This month, as we do every year, we'll be releasing our annual In Memoriam piece, paying tribute to movie industry professionals we lost in 2022. Notably included in that tribute will be actor Ray Liotta, who died unexpectedly in May at the age of 67. Tonight, we are honoring him with a double feature, two Ray Liotta movies, the first two significant pictures of his great career. In a couple of hours, we'll be bringing you Leota in the role that made him a star, playing a riveting villain in director Jonathan Demme's 1986 comedy thriller, Something Wild. But we begin tonight with the picture he made after Something Wild, and just before he starred as Chicago White Sox center fielder Shoeless Joe Jackson, opposite Kevin Costner in Field of Dreams. Here he plays a good guy, a genuinely kind man, a character much closer to the real Ray Liotta. From 1988, stars alongside Tom Hulse, in Dominic and Eugene. The story is set in Pittsburgh, and the two title characters are brothers, fraternal twins. Dominic, Nicky, played by Hulse, has a cognitive disability. He works as a garbage collector, providing financial support for his brother Eugene, Gino. That's Leota. Gino is a medical student with a promising future, but he fears leaving town to pursue his education because that means leaving Dominic, who Gino knows needs supervision and care. Dominic and Eugene is a lovely little movie that largely flew under the radar when released, but audiences who saw it remembered it. It stays with you. It's an emotionally honest film about two brothers who genuinely love each other with strong supporting performances from good actors. Jamie Lee Curtis is Eugene's girlfriend, as well as Bill Cobbs and David Strathairn. But the film is anchored by the performances of its two stars. At the time, Hulse had a Best Actor Oscar nomination for playing the title role in director Milos Forman's Amadeus from 1984. Leota did not have a nomination, but he had serious industry buzz following his work in that dark comedy, Something Wild. 33 years old, Leota had been acting for roughly a decade, including a three-year stint on the long-running daytime TV soap Another World, but now he was a burgeoning movie star. Leota followed with Field of Dreams, and then the role he remains most famous for, as gangster Henry Hill and director Martin Scorsese's Goodfellas. This is from 1988, directed by Robert M. Young, co-produced by actor Mike Farrell and Marvin Minoff. The first half of tonight's Ray Liotta double feature, Dominic and Eugene. Actor Mike Farrell was one of the two producers on Dominic and Eugene, and yes, it's that Mike Farrell who spent eight years playing B.J. Honeycutt so indelibly on the TV series M.A.S.H., Mike Farrell's also one of Hollywood's truly decent guys. One of the real coups for Farrell, co-producer Marvin Minoff, and director Robert M. Young was landing Ray Liotta to play Gino. Though Liotta had been acting for a decade, those were mostly smaller roles in television shows. All that changed in 1986 when Liotta catapulted to stardom with his critical supporting role in Jonathan Demme's dark comedy Something Wild. Liotta played an ex-con who terrorizes Melanie Griffith and Jeff Daniels, receiving rave reviews for his riveting performance. You really couldn't take your eyes off him. After that, Leota started getting substantive offers. He picked this role in Dominic and Eugene because it allowed him to play a good guy. Now here's your chance to see Leota in that transfixing, menacing part that made him a star. Our Ray Leota double feature continues as he stars with Melanie Griffith and Jeff Daniels in Something Wild. It's next on TCM.